Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today uh, I'm going to do a post review and a de-kitting. Um, sadly the canvas isn't quite finished um, because I did run out of drills. I think if you watched my uh, kitting up video of this uh, when we opened this there was three packets of uh, J, the letter J missing which is uh, 553 yeah oh no sorry J is 209 so I did have three packets of those missing there's probably just maybe one packet possibly two um, that I need I will have a look in my stash and see if I have got those to finish it off um, but yeah I was a bit sad about that because it, it is the uh, second custom that I have got from Craft Buddy Crystal Art and it is the second custom unfortunately that has had drills missing so if you watch out for another video I am going to kit up the third one and make sure that I have got all the drills to go in that one as well um, I have contacted them I know they will send me the drills uh, but if I have got the colour then I probably will just uh, go ahead and uh, finish it off but I did enjoy doing this canvas and um, the drills are very good quality very shiny and I just think the happy bright colours really really cheered me up I really enjoyed doing this albeit it is a clear cover that it came with but it is a double-sided tape canvas which I do find a little bit naughty as I say if you, if you look and I do check all my canvases now if you look here you can see that that is double-sided tape and you could actually pull all that up there which isn't good poured glue you wouldn't be able to do that and I find as well with my um, eyesight as it is that I do have trouble um, I tend to work from a side so I tend to when I put a drill down like to slide it possibly into place oh I've missed one there look I'll have to put that one in as well okay so yeah I've missed a couple <laughs> but hey ho oh no that's a letter J same so it isn't I've, I've not got the drill to put there and that's a J there as well what I tend to do with canvases, um, I don't know how you do it, but I do tend to miss odd drills when I'm going through. I actually hold it up to the light and then you can see through the canvas um, where the drills are missing. You, you know, you won't be able to see it on this, but I'll show you the drills I've got missing, how many that I can't complete. Uh, this one here. Yeah, you can see there, there is quite a big chunk of all those J's. But yeah, if you hold your canvas up to the light um, or even hold it back to front so you're actually looking at the back of the canvas, uh, you will see if there's little gaps and you can see where you've got your diamonds missing. So that's what I do if uh, I'm not sure because as a gay, as uh, sorry, I do keep mentioning it, but you know, I don't always see um, where there are ones missing. So by holding it up to the light, uh, turning it back to front I can then see where they are missing and I keep my finger on it and then when I turn it back around I can look what letter it is and put the drill on but yeah I mean this was a picture I'll insert the original picture I took this from this is my uh, Rainbow Bridge Scotty uh, Maisie who we lost nearly five years ago and I'll be five years at Christmas um, and I was just playing around with the graphics package and it came out with a rainbow which is strange because like the rainbow is the wrong way around on this because it goes red orange yellow green blue indigo violet rather than going red orange across it it sort of like starts at that end and comes up that way but it's good it's very pretty and I have as I say really enjoyed doing it the drills did lay down uh, really well I've managed to get some pretty good straight lines for me um, so yeah other than the fact that it's a double-sided tape and that I've run out of drills it has been a good canvas to work on I have enjoyed doing it and as I said the, the pretty colours have made me really happy and I did do this one for uh, Mrs Crochet and Coffee and Rachel's Ra Rachel Ray's um, Fun Never Ends DP Challenge um, which was for Pride Month. Uh, it started in June, I think. Did it start in June? Yeah, it started in June and I think it goes to the end of August. So, yeah, I'll put details down below again, as I say. But, yeah, it's uh, my little Maisie. 
really pretty girl she was and uh, she was just looking up at me giving me one of those scotty looks so uh, if you've ever owned scotty or other dogs you know when they just look up at you and your heart melts so yeah that's uh, that one okay i'll just pop that out of the way so let's get these drills put away okay so we've got our little uh, key card here our little picture there that was the little thumbnail that they gave me and it was a true 30 by 40 as well so oh, sorry it was two packs that i'm missing of 209 i did mark it on there uh, and to be fair i should have rung them as soon as i realized but i was keen to get this one done um to just see what it was like so yeah so let's get uh, box number one out and let's get started putting these drills away oops let's see if i can get box number one it seems to have got itself wedged oh Okay, as ever, my drill storage is uh, based on the idea from uh, Rebecca at, she's now Add More Zest for kids at 147, she used to be, so she's got a little bit different name now, she's uh, launched as a slightly uh, different name there, so oh, again, I'll put details down below, but this is the best storage system I've come across for your spare drills because you can expand it to however big you want or however small you want. They're easy to find. They're all in DMC number order and I've got squares and rounds all just there if I need them. Okay, so let's start off. We've got 152 there. Okay, 152. Get those put away. Let's just move that back a bit so you can see here. So I've got two trays. So if I start spilling but I do find that with the little bottles it's not quite so bad um, and these are all round drills Craft Buddy only do round drills so all of their customs are round okay and 155 is that double check yep yeah, 155 okay and that away so i hope you're all having a good weekend uh, it is very very warm here oh, i've just put those in with the squares look oh dear never mind that's with not concentrating oh and i've just put them in 155 squares as well it is 155 so what's that then 154 oh, gosh liz Never mind, I'll sort that out when I come to it again next time. If there's some rounds in there with them, it's too hot to be messing about, picking them out. <laughs> again, welcome to Lizzie's Diamond Painting. How not to diamond paint? I make lots and lots of mistakes, so hopefully you won't. <laughs> okay, 209. Oh, that's the one I ran out of, so sadly. Oh, look, there's one left in the bottom there just one left let me get that one out i'll put that one over there and i will put that on my painting <laughs> but yeah they, they will send me them um so hopefully before the end of the um challenge so that i can actually put my completed painting um up on the uh, i think we don't know whether they're doing it through i know it's um hashtag fun never ends dp on instagram so possibly uh, it will just be popped on there so yeah make sure i've got rounds okay have i ever done a kitten up or a deep kitten where i've not made some terrible boo boo <laughs> i don't think i have maybe one day but it all adds to the fun don't have to be perfect to diamond paint as i prove constantly to 11 these are all the lovely purpley colours that really were pretty colours these uh, and as I say um, despite my moans about my canvas um, I did enjoy doing it they are very very pretty colours and they are nice quality drills and that's important when you're doing a diamond painting okay so that's 211 and the next one is 340 they're all in like colour families these um, so you'll find that quite a few of the numbers are quite next to each other. I did find that a lot of these colours did get really low as well. 
Um, I got down to 10, 20 drills on a couple of the colours and you do start panicking. I know you only need enough to do your canvas, but I think when you are doing a diamond painting, um, well, I find it hard to judge how many I've got left that I need to do. And I do, you know, you, you do start thinking, oh gosh, am I going to run out? Am I going to run out? But uh, as I say, it was just the one where I had the bags missing, unfortunately. So 518. And mistakes do happen. I think it's... Oh gosh, that's a really different colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely 518. I think all companies will make mistakes, even the bigger companies, the ones that everybody says are the best companies that they've ever had, will make mistakes. It's human nature. It's how a company deals with their mistakes that defines whether it's a good or a bad company. Well, that's my opinion anyway. Um, you know, obviously, if you think differently, that that's fine as well. Um, but yeah, I just think you can't expect people to not make any mistakes. I mean, let's face it, I make plenty while I'm doing this. <laughs> Putting rounds in with squares, oh dear. I'll come to those someday and think, why have I got some rounds in with these squares? What on earth did I do? Because I'll never remember that I've done it. But anyway, maybe I'll just have to watch my videos back and see what I've done. So that's that one and then 554 again the next colour I've got quite a few of these colours so I've done some previous paintings in the past again I don't worry that the colours too much that the colours are slightly different um, you will get different dye lots so you will get slightly different colours sometimes with canvases and I just think well hopefully when I run out then oh, that's five six two in there. Look, and slipped through. So it's five six. Oh yeah. Oh no, five six two's ended up. Oh, where's my card for five six three? I've lost my card for five six three. Okay. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay, I'll maybe have to. Oh, it's there. Look, it's it's escaped. Oh, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm easily confused. Uh, I forgot what I was saying now as well. <laughs> yeah, the dialogue. So all I can hope is when, say, uh, you know, I've run out on this canvas, if I didn't want to wait um, to get the drills, then you just, you know, you can tip your drills that you've got out into a tray and just pick out the colours that are the nearest match or the match to the ones you need. And uh, that works out pretty well. Some left in there. Yeah, there is. Get out, you little devils. I don't want you stuck in my next painting that I do. Oh, and they've just bounced. Doesn't want to come out. Let me get that one. That's it. Got it. Okay. And we'll just put that to one side. Put that over there. Right. Five, six, four. It's the next colour along. And again, we want the round. Nice, pretty, minty, greeny colour. Ooh, my favourite, mint chocolate. I could just eat some mint chocolate now. Mint chocolate ice cream. Oh, that'd cool me down. Might have to pop to the shops later on. Take the tank out for a run and go to the shops. 644. Four. Sorry, we don't actually have a tank. It's just that I've gone from having a really nice little compact car um, to having now a large car that we can get uh, the electric wheelchair and the hoist and everything in the back so to me it's like driving a tank compared to my little car that I had um, it's felt like being dry learning to drive again really uh, getting used to how wide it is and you are very high up you know it's uh, pretty good so I went last, uh, one of the last times I took hubby to the hospital somebody tapped on uh, my window and asked if I was her taxi <laughs> I must look like a taxi. <laughs> I've been called a few things, but I've never been called a taxi before. <laughs> I could have made some money, couldn't I, while I was waiting for Hubby. That was while he had his little op. Um, he went in for day surgery. and uh, I wasn't allowed in with him, but he wouldn't let me leave. He wanted me to stay and wait just in case. So I stayed in the car park. And as I say, I've got this tap on the window. Uh, this lady asking if I was her taxi. 
Oh dear, I could have made a bit of money on the side, couldn't I? Well, <laughs> I was waiting. All right, let me just swap boxes over. Get box two. <laughs> oh dear. The funny things that happen. So we've, really got, uh, we've got a phone appointment this week and a ho one hospital visit this week. So... That's 7.03, so not too bad this week, but uh, yeah, I think we're uh, coming up to more hospital visits again, trying to get hubby well, um, trying to get sorted out. We have the nurses coming in every day at the moment as well, because he's not healing as well as they were hoping, so trying a different treatment, but it means they have to come back every day which means depending on how busy they are and what time they come um, determines whether we can actually go out or not. Sometimes it can be any time from sort of like eight o'clock in the morning that they come um, up until half past four, five o'clock at night. So, and we don't like to bother them. I mean, we know they're busy. Um, it tends to be the people that, you know, are really poorly or live on their own um, and need morning treatments that get seen first, which is fair enough. You know, uh, hubby's got me to help look after him. So, oh, we've got a lot of this colour, 762. So, yeah. Gosh, it's so hot and humid in here. I don't know whether I'll be able to do much filming today. Um, it gets very warm in this room. I have to keep the door shut so that uh, you can't hear the television. I've got Maisie laid across my feet. Sorry, Millie. Oh, that's what we're talking about Maisie and Brayden uh, on my canvas 799 top of the shop is there yeah so she's laid across my feet so my feet are boiling I've got a wet sort of microfiber towel or whatever they are around my neck that's been doused in cold water and wrung out which is supposed to keep me cool I'm not sure that it is I think it's just making the back of my neck soggy but anyway I'll give anything a try <laughs> Don't mind the heat, it's just the humidity. Just makes you feel all smelly and you don't, well, not that we can go near people too much anyway, but you don't want to get too close to anybody in case you're smelling. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> okay, that's 8.09, that's that one put away. Nearly finished these. One eight one three, these are all the blues, all the pretty blue colours. Okay. Again, that one's quite a different colour, but uh, depends on what canvases you're doing. Okay. I'm gonna have to look at uh, kitting up some more canvases because I'm getting a bit low. I do like to have a few in stock so that when I finish one, I'm not quite so bereft. Because I've got another one that I can start. So that's 913. 913, 913. Yeah, I love it when I've done diamond painting and I've really enjoyed doing it. And then you're quite sad because you think, oh, it's finished now. But if you've got another one to start up, then that's brilliant. And I don't know if you like me, but I have got quite a stash of diamond paintings. Um, I may do a video of my stash of diamond paintings. So now we're into the three zeros. I think these are just 900s. Yes, I need my box number three. What's in box number three? Oops. Oh, gosh. Right. Oh, and everything's collapsing. It's box number three. Put the other boxes away. Try and keep a bit organised. At least I haven't got a huge space where I'm working here at the moment. Get some of these to put away. That's my towels just falling off my neck. Must be drying out. Can you say it's just one of these microfiber cloths? You're supposed to wet it um, with cold water, wring it out really well, and then just put it around your neck. It's supposed to keep you cool. But as I say, I'm not sure it's working, but anyway. <sighs> At least my neck will be clean. <laughs> uh, 
Oh dear. Three or six four. It's a brilliant system this because you're not having to worry about where you're going to put your diamonds because you've got a bag for every single colour. Um well just all the colours that we know of anyway and uh, every single one just goes straight into a little bag which is brilliant it takes a lot of setting up i must say you know it's not something that you can just sit for half an hour and do because you need to put your little stickers on all your bags and all your little pieces of card but once it's done it just makes kitting down so much easier and you know that you're going to have a bag for every single color so you're not having to hunt around for bags or pens or anything to write numbers on You've got them up. Somebody's uh, having a bit of a squeal outside. Uh, next door's had a, a baby shower party yesterday. So there was lots of children. A great big marquee in the garden. Um, just in case it rained. Uh, but unfortunately, well, fortunately it didn't rain. But I would think in a marquee when it's humid... And there was an awful lot of people there. There was loads of cars down the street. Um, but uh, it was very hot and sticky in that tent. But there was lots of little children playing. And I love hearing children playing. Just when they're squealing with joy, chasing around and playing with toys. And uh, with it being a baby shower, they'd got balloons everywhere. So the little children were running around with the balloons. And I do see it. love seeing kids play and hearing kids play. When they're happy, it's just wonderful. Three, seven, three, one. Okay. And that's a lovely pinky, rosy pinky colour. That's nice. That's a really good match on that one. Okay. And these stickers have been put on with my Zyron. These are uh, doing really well. Coming off. Three, seven, five. Five, seven, five, five. Is that one? Lots of different colours in there. Look, as I say, and that one was one where I really did get low. Look, there's hardly any drills left there at all. Okay, it's like I suppose when you say somebody was just on time, it doesn't mean they were late, and it doesn't mean they were early. They were on time, but it, you make it sound like a negative. <laughs> Right, and a three, seven, five, six. Now, this was all the outside, and I had a lot left on that one. But what I did with this one, I actually did the whole of the outside first and saved all the pretty colours for last. So rather than working in squares or sectioning it off, that's going to make this bag pretty full. Um, so I did just do all of the three, seven, five, six, and do all the edge first and get that out of the way. And the way nice drills sit. No trash to speak of in them. Good quality drills. I was quite pleased with that. Three seven six six. Three seven six six. Again, that one got quite low as well. And I didn't spill any. I was very very careful. I know sometimes um, Millie can end up wearing some drills particularly if I drop a tray or something, but I didn't with this one. <laughs> uh, Twitchwood, it's been a while since I've actually um, dropped a tray. I'll probably do that now that I've said. Shouldn't have said that, Liz. Shouldn't have said that. Three, eight, eleven. These need sorting out into um, better order because some of them are really slack and some of them are a bit tight. And again, look at that. What is there? About one, two, three, four, five, about ten drills left there. So that one was uh, really, oh no, am I going to run out? Nice, pretty aqua colour. Come on, get out. Get out. Oops, sorry. Millie thinks I'm talking to her now. No, Millie, you're all right, sweetheart. It's not you. A little foot warmer just uh, stirred as if it's ill. What about now? Oh, we had a massive thunderstorm last night. Goodness me. Uh, poor Millie. When the first clap of thunder, it must have been right overhead. Last one, 3838. Three, and she nearly hit the ceiling. <laughs> she doesn't like thunder. She's not bothered by fireworks at all. She's never particularly bothered. But thunder, 
she really does get upset so it was really hot and humid in bed last night and it was thundering and i had to shut the window because it just dulled the sound of the um, thunder a little bit and i had a little hot doggy panting and all upset scrunched right up next to me so it was very very warm last night okay so that's all of those put away put that up, sorry knocking i put that out of the way so i won't knock it and now i'm knocking it again i'll take that out of there that's all to go in my log book that's all finished off so i can put that uh, on my, uh, kit up my next kit in that one let me just get these out of the way okay so that's my canvas nearly finished i'll just wait for my drills um i will be framing this i have bought um i think it's a 16 by 24 inch frame for this to go in and it's going to be framed and put up in my craft room so i will let you see it when i get that all done okay so that's all my de-kitting done um i hope you've enjoyed watching this and having a little chat if you want to see a bit more then if you subscribe um you will be notified of any of my next videos and if you've enjoyed it if you press the like button down here <laughs> then it just helps me a little bit with youtube so thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by and i'll see you all again soon bye for now